What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here, and today I'm here with another episode of Q&A Sunday, the weekly series where I answer your questions about GTA 5, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering questions about will Heist be exclusive to PS4, Xbox One, and PC, what DLC I would create, will we be seeing hydraulics in the future of GTA 5, why are Heist delayed, a possible expansion to the GTA 5 map, what mods I would like to see happen to GTA 5 when it comes out for PC, and a couple of more awesome questions submitted to me from you guys on Twitter, and if you'd like to submit your questions to be possibly featured on the next episode of Q&A Sunday, be sure to check out the description below. Without further ado, let's jump right to today's video. The first question comes from Jalen who asks, do you truly think that heists, if they ever come out, which is in quotation marks, which is kind of funny, and Casino DLC will only be exclusive to PS4 and Xbox One? Thanks for the question, Jalen, and to answer that, they really haven't given us any information about Heist. They haven't done that in about nearly 100 days, so it's been quite a while, and I think everybody's waiting for some information on Heist, and I think that everybody does deserve it, because it's been such a long time since they announced it, and they really haven't given us updates or let us know what's happening. And to expand on that a bit, because they've made everybody wait, and they said it would be on Xbox 360 and PS3 through the trailers and stuff, I think it would just be 100% confirmed at this point that it will be on both Xbox Xbox 360, PS3, and then the new consoles such as PS4, Xbox One, and also PC when it comes out. Also to answer the Casino DLC portion of your question, they haven't officially announced a Casino DLC, so not sure if we can expect that on PS3 and Xbox 360 if it does come out. Again, there was coding found about the Casino DLC, so it does seem very likely it will come out, but again, don't know if that's going to be on Xbox 360 and PS3. Maybe it'll just be on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. The second question in today's video comes from Harry Godin, and he says, if you could create any GTA 5 DLC, what would it be and why? By the way, been watching for a long time and love the vids. Thank you very much, Harry, for all the kind comments and also the question as well. I really do appreciate the support, and I'm really glad that you enjoyed the videos. Now, to answer your question, I guess if I had more time, I'd come up with different ideas, and I wouldn't just choose one of the DLCs I'd like to create, but one of the major ones I'd like to create is a mansion or house DLC with interiors and also with new mini games, new garage interiors just customizing the apartments so that they feel like there's something unique to each player so that when you go to your friend's apartment you won't be expecting the same thing as in your apartment and that everybody's customized in a different way and that if you want to chill with your friends you could do it and play mini games and not just sit around and do the certain limited things that are in apartments right now and also in terms of garages it'd be cool if we had some epic garages that you could see outside that have like multiple floors or that like certain things that you could purchase say a modification that rotates your cars like in the car showrooms for your like really expensive cars maybe have two slots or something like that just adding things that are sort of vanity to gta 5 that you would see in like really really rich people's homes and their garages stuff like that i'd really love to see personal customization to the apartments as well so that you could change the wall color so that you could change the furniture in the apartment again stuff to make a difference stuff to make it unique and you know what i don't know if that was possible on xbox 360 and ps3 but it seems most definitely possible on next gen so it's up to rockstar if they want to include it but i think it would be a really great idea and also a really great DLC. Question three comes from Ben Dover, and I see what you did with your name there. And he asks, do you think there will be hydraulics in GTA 5? I love your videos, by the way. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Ben, if that's your real name. And to answer your question, do I think there will be hydraulics in GTA 5? Personally, I think that in some point in time in the future GTA 5's lifespan, there will be hydraulics added into the game. I do see that sort of being a theme DLC, like the ones we usually saw every month or so. They sort of had weird gaps recently, but usually Rockstar release a DLC every month, and I do see see that being like a specially themed one coming in the near future. Next up, we have a question from Sam who asks, what do you think is delaying heist if they were in the original GTA Online trailer? And to be honest, the reason is... Come to think of it, I actually have no idea why heists are not released. They should be released by now. It's been over a year since they were shown in the GTA Online trailer, and it's coming up on a year since GTA Online was released. Now, with the amount of time they're taking to complete heists, I'm actually expecting a massive, sort of complicated and fun experience. And if it's anything less than something that I think would take a long time to create, then I'd kind of be disappointed, to be honest. But again, when you think about it, this is Rockstar, and they do create really high-quality, top-notch stuff. All their games and DLC are really on point, so I do expect Heist to be really great when they finally do release, but that doesn't really excuse the lack of communication surrounding Heist, and also the reason for why Heist have been delayed for so long. The next question comes from Joe, and he asks, what mods would you love to see in the PC version of GTA 5? 
To answer that, I'd love to see a ton of different mods, and I'm sure some of the mods that I haven't thought of yet will be put in, and I will love those, but some of the ones I'm expecting and would like to see include reskins of characters such as CJ, which we saw that amazing render. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to put a link in the description below. I'd also love to see Tommy Versetti, Nico, and a bunch of previous GTA characters. I'd also love to see a realistic mode, and by that I mean one where you have to refill your health by eating, you have to fill up your car with gas, different stuff, sort of like a Daisy mod for GTA 5 because I think that would be really interesting on the current map. Also, crazy fun modifications to the map that can't be done in the current creator because of limitations due to, you know, the amount of objects you could put in, custom car modifications to make cars look like real life ones, and also out of pure interest and curiosity, I'd love to see a graphics ISO mod like the one they did on GTA 4 because I just imagine that on GTA 5 and imagine the realism that that would bring. Here we have Darren who asks, will all the seats in the Miljet be used for next gen or not? Love your vids. Thank you very much, Darren, and thank you for always submitting questions. I really do appreciate it. To answer that question, as many of you know, the current limitation of the Miljet is for 15 passengers and one pilot for a total of 16 players, which is a full lobby in GTA Online currently. But as some of you may know, in the next gen version of GTA 5, they will up the player limit lobby to 30, which begs the question, will the Miljet also be upgraded? Personally, I believe there's a possibility of this happening but there's also the possibility of them making different vehicles so that they do have the upgraded player limit it would be really cool to see 30 people jumping out of a plane though will hawkins asked do you think we will get the exclusive seaplane and other things on the xbox one version of gta 5 thanks for the question will and to make the answer really simple all ps4 xbox one and pc users will get exclusive content which includes the dukes dodo seaplane and a couple of more things and also a blimp as long as they completed the prologue in gta 5 on ps3 or xbox 360 while connected to the psn or xbox live networks and also if they have a social club account and with that being said, just to ease the mind of anybody who's actually wondering and scared that they won't be receiving it, it doesn't matter if you have a PS4, Xbox One, and PC, you will receive that exclusive content as long as you played before and meet those requirements. Question number 8 comes from Zach and he asks, do you think Rockstar will increase the prop limit on next gen and the PC versions of GTA Creator? This is a great question, Zach, and it's one that a lot of people might not think about, but to you creators that are out there making jobs, fun jobs for people to play, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because I do have a ton of fun playing all these different types of jobs, and I do know the amount of time and hard work it takes to make them. With that being said, the prop limit should increase on next gen and PC as it does have more things to work with, and I'm sure they'll be adding more objects and stuff like that so that there is a lot of different variety and even new elements to the new jobs coming out for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Here we have Connor who asks, could we say anything like this? Also liking the videos. As you can see, the image presented is a modification to the GTA 5 map. It adds two new portions, two significantly larger portions of the map. And he's asking, could we say anything like that? Thank you very much for the kind comment, by the way, Connor. And to shed some light on your question here, I think there is a possibility of them adding new maps. I don't think it'll be a connection like this. I think it'll be different instances so that you have to load into them. But it was presented as a possibility and a probability in the future of GTA 5 in one of the earlier interviews. I don't know if they've changed their tune a bit, but it was something they were looking at and something they were actually looking forward to as a possibility of GTA 5's future. Just on a side note, I think this is a really interesting user created map, and I think they did a great job in modifying the map so that it does look like something I would be interested in playing and something that looks like a lot of fun. And the final question of the week comes from INSK Predator. He asks, as Rockstar confirmed a video editor for PC GTA, will you use this to make more epic GTA movies? Love your bits. Thank you, as always, for the constant and awesome support, Predator. I really do appreciate it. And to answer that question, I will most definitely be making some videos, some montages or something cool with the video editor. I have a ton of ideas that I'm starting to work out in my head and starting to write down. So definitely expect some awesome top-notch stuff coming from the video editor from the PC version of GTA. Thank you so much for watching guys and with that last question comes the conclusion of this week's episode of Q&A Sunday. I do do this series every week on Sunday so be sure to submit your questions before then and if you'd like to know how to submit them there will be some information in the description below.
If you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up on the video. And also, if you could subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on these videos. Because you will be emailed every time I do upload a video if you do subscribe. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And I just want to address something really quick. I have been uploading a lot of long live streams onto my YouTube channel. I do enjoy doing them and I do enjoy commenting live with you guys on YouTube. I do know some of you like when I do it on Twitch. So I'm going to try and find a balance there. But for the next week or so, a lot of you have been missing the shorter videos that I do I'm going to be trying this combination out and let me know what you think in the comments below I'm going to be trying to do one shorter video and one longer video a day I'm going to be seeing how that works out and I'd love your feedback on that so be sure to comment on this video and any future videos and I will definitely be sure to check out your comments and I really do appreciate the feedback also, one of the best ways to chat with me is on Twitter, twitter.com slash typical gamer. Make an account if you haven't already and be sure to follow me there. Tweet at me. I usually respond to as many comments as I can a day and your feedback is truly the best way to get seen if you do send it on Twitter. So I really do appreciate that. And just to say one more thing, I will be live streaming some GTA 5, an awesome huge yellow cargo plane that was found in a job. We're going to be playing that job and definitely be sure to check that out. It'll be out like 15 or 20 minutes live on YouTube after this video. I'll try to put a link in the description if I can. If not, just check back to my YouTube page, youtube.com slash typical gamer, and it should show there and you can just click on it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.